Good morning, and welcome to Motivation Monday. Today's episode is truly inspiring, and I cannot wait to share it with you. We travel out to Phoenix, Arizona, where on July 3rd, there's an apartment fire. Now, across the street in those same apartments, there's a former Marine by the name of Philip Blanks. Philip is sitting there working out in the morning with his buddy. All of a sudden, he hears screaming from outside. His natural instinct is to run towards the sound of those that need help. Without putting on his shoes, he runs downstairs, goes out to see what's happening. He realizes that the third story apartment is engulfed in a blaze. He's able to see a mother and her three-year-old son about to be hurled over the side of the balcony. The only way, obviously, she could see to save her son's life. He instantly runs over where another gentleman is standing, but his focus is solely on that child. Runs up, wasn't confident that the other individual was going to be able to catch the child. Lunges, catches the child just in the nick of time. Now, because of the fall of the child, it rolls Philip onto his side where, unfortunately, it hurt the, it injured the child's foot. However, because of his instant reaction, without hesitation, he was able to protect his head and all of his vital organs. Now, I really want to get you in the mindset of what Philip was thinking at that moment. So I'm going to read a couple quotes that were captured by those that covered this story. And I quote, Ultimately, this is my job, Blank said. It was all fast. It was a blur. It was tunnel vision as I was running. I didn't see anything but the baby. You can already see that his years in the Marine Corps to run to the sound of gunfire to save lives instantly kicked in. Another quote. As I was running, I see the baby getting ready to be tossed out of the patio, Blank said. Next thing you know, he's helicoptering in the air and I catch him. His skin was melting off his body, Blank said. He was bleeding. Now, here's the truly inspirational portion of this story. Not just the heroism, but this is exactly what Blank's heart speaks to the rest of all of us that witness this story. I would honestly like to be involved in the kids' lives, Blank said, because I know they've had a traumatic experience And I know that their lives have been changed forever. In this situation, if I could use this platform to get these kids some help, that would be great, he said. I don't need any. I don't want any help or too much recognition for this. I just feel that I was doing my job. Now, today, Blank serves as an executive protection or a bodyguard, something that obviously He relies on his past experience in the Marine Corps, his past experience as a football player, as a wide receiver. He took everything in his past and applied it to a situation and a young boy right now is alive because of his actions. I can't think of a better example of where one of our military veterans lives the motto of His institution in the Marine Corps, a Semper Fidelis, always faithful. It didn't matter who was up there in that apartment building. It didn't matter where they came from. While he could have sat there and continued his workout with his buddy, he chose to do what he was trained to do, what his heart and soul compels him to do, run to the sound of those that need help. And if that can inspire anyone to do the same, that makes this story well worth everything that's played out. We pray for the three-year-old in a healthy, quick recovery. We pray for his sister that was eight years old that was also saved in the fire from another good Samaritan. They've got a long road ahead. Unfortunately, their mother did not survive the fire. Because of his love for humanity, these kids have an opportunity to recover and live a long, fruitful, healthy life. His actions should inspire all of us to be the best versions of ourselves, which means going out 
in reacting, when you have the ability to turn a blind eye, you can get involved in a situation like this. Do what this former Marine did and save a life, change a life, and make a difference in this world that is truly inspiring and positive to us all. We want to share these stories with you. Stories like fill up blanks. Send us your stories at info at birdseyeviewproject.org and let us share them with the world. Let's bring some more positivity and kindness into the world. The things that are happening every day across our country are truly amazing. They're inspiring. They're incredible acts of humanity. Send us your stories. Remember, we love you. We appreciate you. Today, we want to say thank you to a former Marine, someone that dedicated four years of his life to serving our country, who continues to serve within his community without a hesitation to answer that call. So Philip Blanks, we salute you. We appreciate you. You are the difference maker that we look to aspire to be like every single day. Respect each other, love each other, and always remember, serve those who serve us.